Are you still going to school today? You still watching cartoon? Get up! Get up, get up, get up, get up! Please! Uh -uh, please. We don't have time for this. What do you mean you're not going to school? Get up! This boy is very spoiled. Wake up, here's your mask. You need to hurry. Here's your uniform. Just dress. Don't make me come there. Do you want me to come there? Do you want me to come there? Nonsense. Okay, then go to school. These are your snacks. I'm gonna give you snacks. You want biscuits? You want biscuits? You have biscuits, mommy? Yes, biscuits. Get ready and then I'll give you biscuits. Wake up, get ready. Give you biscuits, okay? Okay, Maya. My teacher will kill me. Why? I don't want to go to school. Why? Where will your teacher kill you? You've done the homework? Yes, mommy. Then what is it? Yeah, I'm a bad boy in class. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I don't wanna go to school. You don't wanna go to school? No. Why don't you wanna go to school? I don't like school. Man. Why don't you like school? You're so young. <laughs> You're only in primary. What will happen when you get to high school? <laughs> Why? Okay, wear your shoes. I don't wanna go to school. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this child. Wake up, go to school. You want snacks, yeah? I'm gonna give you snacks if you go to school. Let me just snack. Let me just snack. Do you have juice? Yes, there's juice. There's juice. You want juice? There's I juice. juice. Okay, wear your shoes. <laughs> Children of these days, I swear. Children these days, you're very spoiled. Okay, we go. Where's your bag? You haven't even combed your hair. Where is your comb? Ah. You need to look sharp, okay? You look sharp, sharp in school. Good boy. Now let's go. Good boy. Where did you put your school bag? You don't know where you put your school bag also? There it is. Good boy. I know I have to go. Uh -uh. I know I have to go. Uh -uh. We go, we go, we go. You're good, you're good. Get your bag. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Fine. Oh, good to see you. You're welcome to Greenwood House School. Thank, Thank you. You're you. really welcome. Thank but before you go in, you have to check your temperature and um, wash your hands at the wash and basin. Okay? Thank you. All right. Good morning. Hello, Miss Ogulano. Good morning. I have Maya here. 
is going to be in this class for Meet Me Sogulano and Mr. S.A. Bye, have fun. Okay. Welcome, Maya. Good morning. It's nice to have you in our class. Okay, everyone say good morning to Maya. He's going to be our new friend in Primary One Mini. Let's have him sit over here with Ugo Chuku. Sit. Hi. I am six years old. Ah. Oh. You are only six years old. How old are you? The founder of Greenwood House School. Yes. It's her first day at school. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so awkward to go back to school again. Yes, you're welcome. It's a pleasure Good meeting you. Yes. My name is Maya from Ghana. You have to tell me your name and where you're from. My name is Ikria Abudu. I'm half Ghanaian and half Nigerian. <laughs> I nearly asked you because I had the name Ikria. I'm like, Ikria, is it a Ghanaian name? Yes. So, were you is. born and raised in Nigeria? Yes, I was. I was really? born and raised in Nigeria, yes. My I've... dad is Ghanaian and um, his family have lived here for since before I was born. And I guess you're a Nigerian now. Yes, I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> my, my mom is Nigerian. I was born here. I've lived here, although I went away for school to England. But this is my home. How long did you stay in, the, in England? For 12 years. 12 years? <laughs> yes. And why did you have to come back? Well, because Nigeria is home, I'd finished my studies and it was time to come back. I came back for law school, actually. I started off as a lawyer. So you're a lawyer? Yes. Lawyer turned educationist. A lawyer turned educationist? Yes. I'm a, I'm, 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 on... I'm a lawyer, a chartered uh, administrator and an educationist. So why you decided to start a school? Um, the opportunity came. Um, the co-founder, my aunt, who's passed on, may her soul rest in peace, um, had wanted to start a school for a long time and we'd been discussing it. So I was helping her to put papers together as a lawyer, get a feasibility study going. And um, by the time I'd put everything together, she was like, this is amazing, why don't we do this together? And that's how we started are you still Hellstone. practicing the law or uh, no longer needed I, well you always need it because uh -huh. in everything you do there's a legal aspect exactly. so yes so that part of it i'm able to apply it to this but which means so. you're doing it on a personal yes no yes. longer commercial no no not commercial how long has this school been in existence 26 years on the 9th of january we started on the 9th of january 1995 mm. and to god's glory we are here. We weren't always at this site. This is our permanent site. We started um, in rented premises off our law road and we were there for five years. We moved here in 2000 and um, we've actually been on this site for 21 years. You said when you started the school, the first place was rented. Now you moved to this place. Was this one also rented? No, it wasn't. Um, but in that other place, we rented a, a small building. Mm -hmm. We outgrew it, rented the building across, mm -hmm. and we were there for four or five years. Meanwhile, we had located this land, mm -hmm. which was actually all water at the time we saw it. But we had the vision and we had the foresight to key in then. And um, the land was sand filled. But you can't believe that even though then it was water, you would have thought we took us four years to pay for the land. And then to build the school, we had to get a loan um, from the bank, which we repaid after a few years. So it's been a journey, but a, fulfill a, a good journey. Uh, slow and steady journey. Slow and steady journey. But let me know, like, after all these things, there should be something that keeps you moving. Oh, definitely. The passion 
and there's nothing more fulfilling than seeing the children that you've you know invested in and children you've helped to nurture become the wonderful responsible adults around there was one day i was traveling and on the plane there was a couple just married they were going on their honeymoon and when i was passing they were both kneeling down and uh, mrs abudu and i was like and they were ex-students of greenwood house school Whoa. you can't imagine how fulfilling that yeah. is I, I mean the other day another child who'd been to greenwood brought her son to the school so you can imagine another generation I feel like a grandmother. I'm very fulfilled doing this job. Okay. It's my first day in school and I want to know which kind of students are accepted in here. Well, we accept children from three months Whoa. because we have a crush and we are also mindful of working mothers, mm. young working mothers who don't have reliable help at home or family to look after their children. So we start from three months. We have a class from three months to one year, a mm. class, a toddler's class from one year to two. Then we have the play group and then we have nursery one and two and then primaries one to six. What makes Greenwood unique than other schools in Nigeria? I think that we ha the fact that Greenwood is a family, it's a, a very close knit community and um, everybody is one big family and that, that's one thing that makes us unique. Our academic standards have always been very high. We've always been known for high academic standards, disciplined children and also well-rounded children. Our children are very confident and um, we, in fact we're known for music as well and drama. Um, our plays are well known and um, in fact Muzon, the Musical Society of Nigeria, they used to have schools competition and um, at one time we were first, first year, second year, third year, then we decided to bow out and allow other schools to take over. <laughs> <laughs> would you love to take me around? Yes, I would love to take you around yeah. Greenwood, Fine. it would be my Fine. pleasure. Mm. Come on, let's go. Okay, so we're going to the baby's class first, but you have to take off your shoes. There's no one here at the moment, but this is our, our baby's class with the cots and the changing units, the feeding units and, and sleeping. This is our, this is our crush. Oh, he's Sorry. sleeping. Again. 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 Hello. So as you can see in the nursery, we use some Montessori material, and so we mix Montessori and, and normal normal school. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, this is our music room. Are you going to play something while we're here? Quickly, just anything. This is our computer suite. So of course, because of um, COVID, everyone has their own, is protected. We have to put the perspex here. This is, um, a new, yes, this is a new innovation because of um, COVID. This is our science room, uh, one of the function rooms. So the function rooms are the same size. You know, the, the school is purpose built. All our classrooms are the same size and the function room, science room, music room, art room are the same size, like they're quite big. So these are our two very efficient science teachers and uh, Mrs. Anekan Udo is going to show us a quick experiment. Or is it the children? You're doing something? Yeah, they're the ones doing it. So what are you doing today? For me, the of matter. Yeah, and 
What does that involve? Solid the liquid and gas using baking soda, bicarbonate of baking soda as a solid. White vinegar as a liquid. Yes. It will produce the gas. Okay, let's okay. see what you're going to do okay. quickly. Thing you need to do, pour in some, okay, pour in some baking soda into the gloves. Pour in your white vinegar into the baking soda, at least 200 ml. Put a little color from the dropper into the uh, white vinegar. You're opening the glove and you're wearing it on the beaker. I did not do right. It's a balloon, wow. You slipped off, sorry. <laughs> but at least you saw the reaction. Thank you so much for taking me around your school. But if someone is living in Lagos and they want to find your school, where do we find you? Oh, you can check our website, www.thegreenwoodhousechool.com. Wow. And uh, you know, this one is questions about Africa. I know you lived in the diaspora for 15 years. So 15 or 12 years? 12 years. 12 years. And then yes. you left, came back to Nigeria and established this beautiful school. You even started by renting uh, yes. a room. And now, like, this is a huge school. So we've got a lot of Africans living in the diaspora right now. Do you think that it's worth it for Africans living in the diaspora to return back to the motherland? Most definitely, because I think Nigerians are one of the most educated and the most talented people all over the world. And it's a pity that we have so much drainage of that talent. So please come back to Nigeria and let's make Nigeria great again. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, you're here. Yes. I mean, definitely you face few challenges when you're establishing the school. Yes. You have young entrepreneurs that want to be like you. Mm. What was the major challenge that you faced? Um, I think no support from our government. Because when you want to set up a business in Nigeria, you have to set up your own electric um, file. You need a generator, you need a borehole, you need... So I think um, definitely the infrastructure is, is not that good. Mm. Um, but, you know, at least we're able to provide things for ourselves. I have our, our, we have our own mini government here. Mm -hmm. We provide our own electricity, <laughs> we draw our own water, provide our own security, clear our own drainages. Um, but um, that, that is one thing. But I think that if you're passionate about what you, you want to do and you're hardworking, you can overcome and success is the result. If you have a chance to change one thing in Africa, what will it be? Um, leadership. <laughs> I pray for good leadership, leaders who are interested in the people, trusted in education, in health, in governance, in infrastructure. That's what we need to make Africa the way it should be. We have so many resources, but unfortunately, we're not seeing the results. How many people have you employed so far? I think over the years, um, right now I have about 150. Over the years, I'm sure we've, we've employed, I don't know, maybe about 600, but we have a lot of staff who've been here from the day we started. That's amazing. I just want to say thank you so much for taking me around your school, and I wish you all the best. And hey, I think my first baby will be in this school. Definitely. <laughs> thank you, Wody. Thank you, Wody and his wonderful team. Thank you for coming to Greenwood House School. And everybody, you're welcome to come and visit us at any time. We're in Parkview Estate in Ekoyi, one Greenwood House School Road. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.